Okay, I'd like to call to order the regular school board meeting for Thursday, August 4th. Uh, Mr. Pilot, could you do the roll, please? Mr. Browning. Yeah, here. Mr. McCord. Here. Ms. Landon. Here. Mrs. Milan. Here. Mr. Steininger. Here. Okay, could we stand and do the pledge, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Could I get a motion to approve the agenda as presented? So moved. Second. Mr. Pilo? Mrs. Milad? Yes. Mr. Steininger? Yay. Ms. Landon? Yes. Mr. McCord? Yes. <coughs> Mr. Browning? Yes. So, so moved or so approved. Uh, could we get a motion to approve the minutes of the Thursday, July 7th regular meeting and the uh, Thursday, the 21st special meeting? So moved. Second. Mr. Pilo? Mr. McCord? Yes. Mrs. Milad? Yes. Ms. Landon? Yes. Mr. Steininger? Yay. Mr. Browning? Yes. Motion passes. Uh, now for uh, good to the order, board <coughs> reports. Wendy, would you want to start? Sure, absolutely. Um, we'd like to um, recognize uh, Fairborn graduate uh, Rear Admiral John Spencer. He visited the Dayton area during Navy Week, and he actually visited um, his alma mater. Fairborn High School, so it was great to see um, John Spencer and visit with him as well. And we'd like to thank um, Admiral Spencer for his service to our country. Okay, Katie? All right, um, thanks everyone for being here tonight. Um, we'd like to give a shout out to Fairborn graduate Stephen Escofia, who was a Fairborn High School class of uh, 2007. He is stationed at Joint Base Andrews First Helicopter Squadron and provides transportation for VIPs around Washington. Um, he was able, or the school district was able to speak with Stephen at the Dayton Air Show, and we thank you for your service. And I'd also like to say um, we've had an awesome week for band camp this week, so um, I apologize for my children who are <laughs> walking by so loudly out there. But um, they we have lots of parent helpers and lots of restaurants in the area donating food and lots of people donating food even in this room. So thank you so much for, for feeding them and. Um, it's been really good and they've got a really great show for um, for this year so I hope you all come out to football games and competitions to watch them so. okay. Pat? Oh, we'd like to thank the uh, transportation department and supervisor Jordan Parker superintendent Jean Lolly for their support of the Genergy, yeah Genergy Dayton air show uh, our drivers helped uh, to transport people to and from the parking areas during the weekend. Also, uh, all back to school information is updated and posted on the Fairborn City Schools website on each school page under District News Back to School. Uh, along with that, I would like to uh, <clears throat> thank the custodians for their hard work that they do over the summer each and every year and what is turning a war out school building uh, back to a shiny new penny. So uh, they do a great job for us, and we sure thank them. Um, fall sports, well on its way. Uh, interesting note, um, I was told that uh, grades 9 through 12 in football were up around 72 kids. So that is a tremendous uh, increase in numbers. Um, and uh, I know that the guys are working hard uh, so thanks to everyone who's got their hand in the um, football program, being the um, trainers, coaches, and uh, student trainers and managers as such. Uh, and uh, of course, we saw some new buses in our parking lot this year. Uh, I think maybe you know, but each and every year we try to get four new buses to our fleet because as you imagine, there's a lot of miles put on buses. So uh, the new buses are here. And they look pretty. <laughs> That's all I have. Okay. Are yeah. they are they yellow? Yes. They indeed. <laughs> they are yellow. <laughs> yeah. check. Nice one. I want to, my shout out goes to the uh, four paws for ability as they visited the uh, primary school this summer, and I'm pretty sure both the students and the staff enjoyed their presence a lot. Also, as an announcement, uh, this weekend is Ohio sales tax holiday. 
that includes uh, clothing priced up to $75 per item, school supplies priced at $20 per item or less, and school instructional materials priced at $20 per less. So take advantage of that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start out. We'd like to thank uh, FCS parent uh, Amy Elliott and Amazon for donating to Fairborn City Schools and to the fish pantry. Uh, that, that's huge when that kind of stuff happens. Uh, related to like the kids, fall sports like Pat said are in full swing. I've uh, been out watching the various sports and practicing. It's been nice and hot for them. Uh, they've actually, like football's practice uh, without pads, without helmets a couple times because of the heat index kind of thing. So they are working to even keep them safe, uh, you know, in the heat. And then been watching marching bands some this week and those kids really work hard and, you know, they work as hard as any of the athletes yeah. based on what I see. They've been uh, here they for 13 hours a day all yeah, week. 13 <laughs> hours a day all week. <laughs> yes. And for anybody that's interested, uh, we're actually going out afterwards. They're doing their preview show tonight, uh, the parent preview. Uh, I think they go over part of the football show and then pregame, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so, and, they, and they have the first movement of their competition show okay, ready, awesome. to, ready to So they're ahead. They are ahead. Uh, so yeah. we're going to walk out and watch that after we uh, finish here tonight. So. That's it. Mr. Browning, can I also yes. add a thank you to um, under the leadership of uh, Jeff Patrick and the intermediate administrators and uh, other people moving uh, all those boxes and with the movers from five points over to the new uh, intermediate. Uh, uh, they've been working all last week and part of this week and they still got a lot more work ahead of them. Um, they've been working late, so uh, kudos to, to the administrators and maintenance. Uh, I saw them yesterday loading up a huge box truck of stuff out of the right. commons. So uh, a lot of people been putting in some hard work and some extra time. So uh, deeply appreciated. Thank you, Jeff. Okay. So, Mr. Pilo, any visitors? We have no uh, visitors tonight. Okay. So we'll go ahead and go to the school district presentations. Mr. Lawley. Okay. Um, school district presentations. First up, we have here uh, personnel from the food pantry, Fairborn Fish Food Pantry, to make a special presentation, yeah. from my understanding. Are we okay. that now? Come on up. Mm -hmm. yes. Come on up. It's Come on up. Here. My, the microphone's over there, Jane. <laughs> right behind that. You chair. get to use the mic. <laughs> oh, I that way it's heard on the recording. Okay. I'll let everybody get up. I don't want to stand in front of you, Kevin. Mr. Dorley. Stand in front of someone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, All right. All right. I know. <laughs> 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 All right. Thanks, thanks to the generosity and the big heart of Superintendent Jean Lawley and the Fairborn City School Board, Fairborn now has a community food pantry to feed the hungry of our community, showing the world that Fairborn is not the type of city that leaves the um, poor behind. And so it is with deepest appreciation to Superintendent Jean Lawley and Fairborn City Board School Board members that we present this plaque to you for your extraordinary support of Fairborn Fish Food Pantry. You have helped change lives and feed dreams. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, our next presentation is from uh, Mr. Jeff Patrick to update us on the uh, facilities and everything going on in that world. Uh, we've got quite a bit going on in the district, as uh, many of you know. Um, as Mr. Lawley said, over the last several weeks, including this week, we've uh, taken a lot of stuff out of the Five Points building uh, with the help of a moving company, custodians, and our maintenance. So that's been a, a big plus. Some of that stuff's gone to right, but the majority of it has gone to the new building. Um, so uh, we did meet with the uh, contractor who's going to do the abatement and the demo. Uh, that process will be starting Monday. So tomorrow, the uh, Five Points building, we hope to have everything emptied out of it that uh, we need to be taking down to the new school. And uh, the abatement process will start Monday. So uh, if everything goes well tomorrow, we will have no more access to the Five Points building uh, after tomorrow. So uh, that's a, a step forward. At the intermediate school, we've got a lot of work that continues. Uh, we're getting closer to uh, being ready for the arrival of students and staff. New furniture has been delivered this week. Uh, it's being installed in the classrooms and built as we speak. They're still there. Um, outside work continues. The flooring started in the cafeteria uh, yesterday, which is a big plus. So that's, that's a big, big help. Uh, that's one of the jobs that we need to, to get finished. Uh, the kitchen will definitely be probably the last thing that gets finished. Um, it's just kind of the way things are, are lining up. Uh, but we hope to be able to push through that. Uh, we did deliver all the, I'll call it kitchen supplies uh, today to the new building. Um, we did not put it inside. We put it in Connex boxes outside. So it's on site, not in the building yet, but it's down there ready to be uh, moved into the building when the kitchen is ready. Uh, the, the, the hope is that if uh, Continental, who is the furniture company, putting it together the new student desk and chairs and so forth, if they have a good week next week, they may finish that portion next Friday. If that takes place, then that would give us an opportunity to kind of put together groups of like maybe third grade teachers starting the 15th for a couple hours and the fourth grade teachers for a couple hours and the fifth grade teachers for a couple hours. So the goal would be the week of the 15th to maybe be able to um, kind of shift teachers in there. I can't have everyone in there all the time yet. Uh, we're getting closer to that, but if we can get them in there for a couple hours each day, the week of the 15th, I think that would be a big help. We have passed the life safety inspections for the classroom wing, which is great. That allows us to start putting the teachers in there once Continental is out. And we still are looking at a temporary certificate of occupancy of Friday the 26th of August. So that all continues to go uh, pretty well. I, I too, like Mr. Lolly, would like to thank the uh, three principals at the intermediate school. Uh, we've also had the custodial crew and the maintenance crew. Uh, they've been working pretty hard the last two weeks to try to get things to where they need to be. So <coughs> it's been pretty hot. Uh, I think I soaked through his shirt at least twice today. I mean, it's, it's hot and humid, so we're, they're working pretty hard, so I appreciate that. Uh, the work at the new high school goes, it's going very well. Uh, we do have the electric cables wired, buried, across the front of Commerce, which is good because that's what will provide temporary power at first and then permanent, which if you've been on site or past there, you can see we are in need of power pretty bad. I mean, we have a ton of generators running, so uh, as soon as we can get that established, that'd be good. I heard today we still might be 10 days out from having some type of temporary power, so we'll see, we'll work through that. Um, and then at, out here, at the current soccer field and track, 
Uh, most of you know that we're replacing the light poles. Those poles are on site. Materials are, some of them are on site. Work will continue through this week and next week. Still really have not come up with a estimated time of finish. Uh, we hope it to be the end of August, but uh, I don't have that date quite yet. So I think we'll see how things proceed as we move forward with them putting those things up. We know we've got soccer season that we're running up against, and uh, we hope to be able to have everything done as we need it. Any questions about uh, building, move, demo abatement? No, nothing here. Thank you. Thanks. Anything else, Mr. Long? I think that's okay. So let's move on to uh, budget and finance. Uh, this, uh, can I get a motion to accept the monthly financial report for June? So moved. Second. So moved. Uh, Wendy did. Wendy. Sorry. Okay. Mr. Pilot. Ms. Landon. Yes. Mr. Steininger. Yay. Mrs. Millad. Yes. Mr. McCord. Yes. Mr. Brownie. Yes. Motion <coughs> carries. Uh, next is administrative reports and superintendent recommendations, and that actually goes all the way through to the top of page six. Uh, can I get a motion, and then we could have any discussion if we need to? So moved. Second. Second. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any discussions or comments on anything that's that's in here? I think so. Usual. Everything's pretty straightforward. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mr. Pyle? Mrs. Millad? Yes. Mr. McCord? Yes. Ms. Landon? Yes. Mr. Steininger? Yay. Mr. Browning? Yes. Motion carries. Our next gifts and donations, Pat, would you want to do them? Yeah. Um, once again, we are very appreciative of all the gifts and donations uh, given to us by uh, people around town. Uh, in this one is uh, class of 1970, $500 for the Victory Bell Fund, uh, and then is that D H A K? I mean, uh, I think it is D H A K L C, uh, $2,342.12 for the Victory Bell, and of course Steve Ross, uh, $25 for the uh, Turf Field Fund. Uh, just a uh, comment about the Victory Bell. <coughs> Uh, the class of 71 gave a victory bell to the school back in, uh, well, back in our senior year in 1971. Uh, and this bell has been unusable for quite some time. So we did get the bell. We dug the bell out of the uh, tunnel at uh, Baker, and uh, uh, I've seen pictures of it. They have gone and sandblasted the bell. So uh, they're going to do what bell professionals do, I guess, to get it <laughs> back in shape. And that bell will uh, uh, be housed at the uh, new stadium once our new high school uh, is built and finished up. So we'll watch the progress and uh, keep you updated. Thank you. So next, Mr. Pilot, we go to work session? Um, yes, we'll go into work session. We anticipate this to be a short work session. Um, after that, we'll go into executive session for the specified purpose of the employment, employment, or compensation of public employees. And then after that, we look to uh, adjourn from executive session and adjourn for the evening with no other action items. So um, we'll take two minutes here, and uh, then we'll, uh, we'll start with Mrs. Uh, Dr. Brackenhoff. 